Now I gotta ride or die Guys, welcome back to the channel. Episode two of this putting a Cosworth engine, yes, in a transit. As you saw in the last video, which was yesterday, I just shot it yesterday, got pretty far actually. Most of the stuff was uh, niggly little bits that held up um, parts towards the end of the video though. So I left the guys to it, we did a load of editing this morning. We've come back the next day. So I wanted to pick up as soon as possible, but let the guys actually crack on with the little, stupid, literally niggly bits and bobs that, you know, are gonna come up in a build like this. So did a quick run through of the truck and it is on the ramp. The engine is actually completely in the hole now. Everything's mounted up properly. The bottom uh, chassis rail has been cut and notched properly. So uh, where the gearbox actually sits has been cut and notched properly. They're actually starting to make up the prop shaft as we speak right now and then it's all going to come off and weld it up properly the next bit was actually uh, getting the wiring in the guys have actually wired it up this morning everything bar the actual inside of the cab is completely wired up to the engine so taco ECU placement various little bits like that are all waiting to happen right now so we're going to jump in there again I will do voiceover as much as I can with what's going on in this again it's an active workshop just like last time there's lots of noises there's music on all that sort of stuff so I'm trying my best to actually capture as much content as possible but we'll get back in there very exciting i want to see this thing start say maybe it starts in this video maybe there is a third video coming we shall see i want to see this thing running maybe the guys are absolutely smashing it in there but the driving portion is going to be insane having that turbo cosworth engine yb in this transit driving down the road is going to be insane but we'll jump inside show you guys what's going on so jumping back into the garage as you can see the garage there absolutely just the best place to be for stuff like this. These guys know what's going on. As you can see, the transit is up on the ramp. And I wanted to focus um, just showing you guys this rear anti-roll bar that's been put on just to make everything right at the back of the truck, as you can see, all welded properly to chassis. I didn't show you guys that last time, but that's something um, that the owner said to point out because, you know, making sure that this thing is... Uh, not swaying all over the place while it's under load is key. And as you can see, prop shaft is out. Those are the two fuel pumps as well. So we're running two fuel pumps to a swell pot on this one. And as you can see, they're actually starting to run all of the fuel lines in and out of those into the swell pots just above that. Similar to MJG Grits uh, P100 actually, this setup, because um, the owner of this one and the owner of Martin's, Martin's P100, done didn't done the same pretty much the same sort of build um, similar engine builds and as you can see the prop shaft there cut and ready to be lengthened because there is a lot of length that actually needs to go and a surprisingly amount actually surprising amount of uh, length going into the prop shaft it doesn't look like like I said the pipe behind us there that's the pipe that's going in um, all correct to um, specification for uh, extending that prop shaft this metal so no worries there but it doesn't look like it's gonna fit, and I know it sounds really, really silly, but off the truck it looks absolutely massive, but on the truck it is, you know, properly done. As you can see, George at the garage there welding everything up properly. Um, George actually used to race in a race team. Just wanna point that out. So um, he was a mechanic for a race team for a few years. Um, did a lot of Mexico Baja stuff, actually. So he's probably, well suited for doing pretty crazy stuff like this which is awesome um, these guys have tons of builds under their belt and as you can see they've actually welded a few plates onto the prop to make sure that it doesn't move and there you are prop all mocked up now there is going to be another prop that's probably put on this um, probably a girthier one at some point but i've been reassured that this uh, will work for the minute again this isn't a powerful build or any silliness like that it is, you know, a 300 horsepower Cosworth uh, engine going into this transit. So that will work for now, but it is, of course, going to get properly sleeved and balanced and all that sort of stuff. Mocking up more than anything is what's happening now. And as you can see, the transit coming back down. I'm going to start running um, loads of other lines as well, because, of course, moving uh, the prop and everything out of the way, moving all of the lines and stuff in and out, the fuel pipes will have to then come back into the truck as you see George underneath there absolutely loving it just making sure pipes and stuff are going in the right places swell pot um, and all of the lines going from that to the engine back to 
the petrol tank and as you can see look how good that looks in there oh it looks so good next thing though is to actually start dropping out the center um, bracket that sits between the gearbox and the engine um, as you can see down there from the garage as well going through the lines getting everything where it should be making sure all of the fixtures and fittings are right and again this is purely mock-up there will be um, other tie downs and stuff going on as you can see the pipes going over into the chassis rail there and going towards the front of the vehicle uh, this will be obviously all attached properly this is just cable tied for now just to make sure the car runs you know vehicle runs and uh, drives as it should be the guys will then go meticulously back actually going all over these parts but getting and running uh, and making sure there's no problems is is the first key here so yeah pumps in um, they're actually going to come back off in a second wanted to show you guys this bit because of the uh, cable ties and then as you can see of course start to take the uh, ends of the cable ties off because I know the internet absolutely hates cable ties and we do as well we hate the, the idea that cable tie ties don't get cut off so putting that bit in there is an extra bit of content for you guys so yeah um, both pumps sat there on that rail as you can see we're going to start to take that off because it's been notched for the gearbox in a second and that will come back off because the notch um, they wanted to reinforce that as much as possible as you can see that coming off there and yeah so you can see the cut out in the center there that will then be by George cut down as you can see and replaced with thicker metal so to be fair what's going in it is actually better than standard as there's going to be of course more weight more power pretty much more everything going through uh, this truck now so as you can see George actually taking some of the metal out and then they're going to start plating it up properly welding it in and as you can see welding up bits and bobs just to make sure again that you know all these parts are going to be under a lot more load a lot more stress a lot more power and although these are built well these mark ii transits again this is a car hauler and it's done a very good job over the last four years of ownership from the owner now with the pinto lump in it he's never had a problem he's never had you know been cut short with with what he's doing but they want to go above and beyond with this thing because it's it's such a cool thing it's such a cool truck and you know they do things properly and as you can see we are ending today's episode there if you did like this small episode based series let me know in the comments below we will do more of it in the not so distant future and episode three should be coming up very very soon again i did actually shoot this at the start of the week for a few hours and then we all sort of went home so hopefully the startup will be in the next video it's a very very exciting times but thank you so much for watching guys episode three out very very soon we'll see you then